let me just take a moment here. I'm going to zoom back out just so I can kind of see uh, a few questions that you all might have uh, to make sure that I kind of keep up. And, uh, and bear with me a little bit. This is my first master class, so I'm still getting used to the flow of things and how to answer questions and so forth. So because I'm a virgin, I'm just going to make sure that, uh, the, that I can see uh, what's happening. The first question that we have is, is there a way to automate the curve on the fade out? And in the audio file mode, there is not a way to do that. However, in the audio montage, there is. And so we're going to get to that. Um, there, uh, the next question that we see is, is there a way to save the, uh, uh, a different default setup? And absolutely you can. There's a whole bunch of different templates. So if you come over here to the file tab, you'll notice that, uh, in the new section, you can, uh, make your own, well, let me drop this out of the way. You can, uh, make a new audio file from your own custom settings or you can make a new file based on a currently loaded audio file, uh, or you can load a template. When you save something, one of the things that you can save is a template. And another nice thing about that is, uh, let me talk a little bit about the file group. And this is something I didn't mention before. I actually have it in my notes, but I, uh, I bypassed this. One of the really great things about file groups is that you can load a whole bunch of audio files all simultaneously as a group. When I first started this particular project, it's an empty project, or it's a, 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 it was an empty file group. It didn't have anything in it. But a file group can contain not only audio files, but also audio montages and batch processors and so forth. But one of my favorite things to do is to save a whole group of audio files all simultaneously. And I've already done that. Uh, I, in other words, I've already saved a group of audio files. I'm going to go to the file tab right here and I'm going to open and I'm going to look in my recent folders and uh, let's see. Uh, project files. So I saved a project called MC161003. That's my way of, uh, of assigning uh, dates to my files. And you'll notice, if I zoom in here, I know it's a little small on the screen here, but you'll notice that when I saved this as a, uh, a, a file group, it saved it with a WPR extension. If I were to load that, watch what happens. It's going to load... All of these different files, let me just move Master Rig out of the way here. So now we're in uh, one file group, but we have all of these different audio files all loaded simultaneously. So that's nice if you're working on a whole bunch of material and you're not going to finish it all in one session. It's nice to be able to save a file group, and that will save all of the audio files together. Uh, and you can do the same thing with uh, with project files. And when you load up a project file, it will change the master section uh, so that you uh, have the same plugins and the same associated settings. Uh, so I, I hope that answers the question. Uh, the next question I'm going to answer, let's see. I find it best to have the master egg in the first slot. Yeah, uh, so, so this question pertains to how do you order the plugins inside the slots? And yeah, you can change uh, the order, and their order from top to bottom is going to change the signal flow. Just like in the master rig, the modules flow from left to right. In the master section, they flow from top to bottom. If you wanted to have a different plugin in the very first slot, then you could click and drag a plugin. If, if you had Master Rig in the first slot, you can just click and drag it into the second slot, then apply a different plugin to that slot. Uh, for example, if you wanted to add a reverb first, like, uh, let's see, let's go with Roomworks here. So now this reverb plugin is getting processed before the signal flows into the master rig. And so if you wanted that after, it's as easy as just clicking and dragging them in different orders. And you'll notice that as you start to add them, it starts to make new slots inside of the master section. I'm going to zoom in and do that again just so you can see what's happening. 
if I click and drag RoomWorks down into this slot, it's going to automatically make a new slot underneath that. It's very, very flexible. You can put plugins in any order that you want. And since we're in the audio file mode right now, uh, we're going to be applying these processes to any file that we are editing or rendering. This will get a little bit more intense as we move into the audio montage. Uh, and and things get really, really cool uh, when we do that. 